One of the most popular real or fake creatures you guys send me is this guy. He's real, and he's called a blue angel, among other things. He's actually really tiny and beautiful, but did you know that he's also very dangerous? He's got a bite that includes venom that can be very painful. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, this tiny but dangerous creature got me thinking. Are there a lot of these tiny creatures that are huge problems for us humans and the world we live in? I got together with my good friend Sam at the Be Amazed channel to see what we could learn, and you are not gonna believe some of the crazy stuff we found. But trust me, what you're about to see is all real. I'll be back at the end of the video with a pop quiz, so don't go away, okay? Now here's Sam with our top 10 list of tiny creatures that cause huge problems. Number 10, Killer Shrimp. Most people think of shrimp as something they can dine on at an all-you-can-eat buffet. But killer shrimp, which are only about 30 millimeters in size, think the entire pond or river they live in is an all-you-can-eat buffet. Native to Eastern Europe and Western Russia, these tiny shrimp have an insatiable appetite, devouring everything from regular shrimp, the kind that you find at a buffet, to various invertebrate species. They can seriously disrupt the balance of life in their river or pond, and worse yet, they can survive up to two weeks outside of the water if they remain damp. Number 9. Lone Star Tick A bite from the Lone Star Tick can leave you itchy, and not just from the bite itself. You can develop an allergy to red meat as the result of this tick bite, due to a carbohydrate called alpha-gal found in meat. It isn't found in white meat, but red meats like beef and pork, and even in some cases, milk, can cause allergic reactions in those who have been bitten by the tiny tick and picked up an antibody to alpha-gal. Symptoms range from hives and itching to a severe anaphylactic reaction. Other species of tick can cause problems like Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and even tick paralysis, so it's best to tick bug repellent off your list of supplies if you're going to be outside. Number 8. Squirrels attacking power grids. Squirrels look cute and innocent. It's hard to believe they're waging war on our power infrastructure, but they often take a break from gathering nuts to cause big problems with our power grid. In 2015, there were more than 100 squirrel attacks on the power grid. Apparently, squirrels love to nibble on power lines and sneak into electrical facilities to wreak havoc. As of April 2017, there were almost a thousand squirrel attacks in the United States, resulting in electrical problems for people across the country. In case you are wondering, we know because the website CyberSquirrel1 maintains a list of electric company and squirrel squabbles. John Inglis, former deputy director of the NSA, said in 2015 that while cyber attacks and natural disasters are matters of concern, the biggest threat to the national power grid is actually our furry friend, the squirrel. Number 7. Asian Hornet Killing Bees You've probably heard about the plight of bees lately. People are concerned about declines in honey bee population, as bees pollinate many of the foods we grow for crops. Bee problems are often blamed on man-made things like pesticides, and even cell phone towers. But some of their biggest predators are produced by nature. Take the Asian hornets, for example. These predators are smaller than normal hornets, with noticeable yellow feet and dark abdomens. While they eat a variety of insects, they're especially interested in honeybees. They've even developed the ability to hawk outside bee nests, waiting for the honey-laden bees to return home to an ambush. Number six, citrus longhorn beetle. The citrus longhorn beetle sounds like a mascot for a Texan football team, but it's actually native to Asia and has recently spread to Britain, causing some big problems wherever it goes. The sketchy little bug wreaks havoc on orchards, forests and trees. It lays eggs in the trees, then the eggs turn into larvae that burrow deep into the wood. These chewed through burrow holes weaken the trees, leaving them vulnerable to diseases and even wind damage. If you value trees or the fruit that grows on them, you shouldn't be cheering for these beetles. Number 5. Quagga Mussel The quagga mussel is only about the size of a thumbnail, but it can cause big problems when it hitches a ride on a ship or into a water treatment plant. Hailing from Eastern Europe, this mussel has an impressive filtering capacity and can produce dense populations. This can lead to a sharp decline in biodiversity wherever it takes up residence. It can also cause problems for freshwater systems, leading to an imbalance of life there. When they muscle their way into pipes of water treatment plants, they can clog up the system and reduce productivity. Number four, Chinese mitten crab. While we're on the subject of sneaky seafood, 
you should meet the Chinese mitten crab. Sounds adorable, doesn't it? But you don't want to pet this East Asian crustacean. It's an aggressive predator that wolfs down a variety of invertebrate species and fish eggs, leaving a problematic imbalance in the ecosystem. It can grow as big as 10 centimeters and even burrows into riverbanks, causing erosion and even sometimes making the banks collapse. Those are some big problems caused by a small water creature. It's worth taking the gloves off to fight the Chinese mitten crab. Number three, cookie cutter shark. The cookie cutter shark sounds like a fun shape you make out of cookie dough. The shark's diminutive size compared to other species of sharks, like the great white, makes it look like a small fish. Don't let that fool you though, because this thing has sharp teeth, biting chunks and flesh out of fish and even other sharks. Its name comes from the cookie cutter sized holes it leaves in other animals. And it doesn't stop there. These small sharks have chewed in soft spots on nuclear submarines, like electrical cables and rubber sonar domes. In some cases, they've effectively blinded the subs, which then had to be returned to base for repairs. Fiberglass coverings have since been placed over the soft spots to prevent further attacks. Number two, armadillos carry leprosy. If you've ever been driving along and couldn't avoid an armadillo, you may think they're only dangerous to the undercarriage of your car, but it turns out they can cause real damage to you. Armadillos are the only animal other than humans that mycobacterium, leprae, can live on. That would be the bacteria that causes leprosy. While treatable if caught early, leprosy is a serious disease, so experts urge avoiding the hard-backed creatures. If you visit Texas, you may find their state mammal on the menu in a few restaurants, but it's best not to eat armadillo meat or buy any clothing made from its skin. Number one, mosquitoes. Everyone knows mosquitoes are pests. They buzz, they bite, they make you itch, but these insects are a serious threat. Many bugs carry diseases, but mosquitoes are the worst. They spread a variety of serious illnesses, including malaria, dengue fever, yellow fever, and Zika virus. They even carry the dog heartworm that can affect your furry friend. Why is the mosquito such a good carrier? Well, lots of insects will bite, but mosquitoes are sort of like tiny flying vampires, since they drink blood. When they do, they ingest all kinds of microbes that might be living in the host. These microbes can then pass directly to the next meal. That is, the next animal or person the mosquito drinks from. They're so problematic, in fact, that they cause around 725,000 deaths a year. That's 30% more people than human murderers kill. So there you have it, tiny animals that are a nuisance to us humans. Which one did you think was the most problematic, Bill? Hey, thanks, Sam, but I gotta tell you, you know, I always knew what a huge problem mosquitoes are because, you know, I spent a lot of time down in the jungle and I know how bad they can be. But what I didn't know was what a huge threat squirrels are to our national security. They've taken out bits of the grid more than 850 times since Thomas started counting in 2013. For comparison, officials have confirmed that cyber attacks on physical hardware have worked only twice. <laughs> And now, as promised, I have a little pop quiz for you guys. Are you ready? Here we go. What is the smallest tortoise in the world? Is it A, the hinge-backed tortoise? B, the speckled padloper tortoise? Or C, the aldabra tortoise? Leave me your answer in the comment section, and then if you want the official answer, just send an email to me at billschannel at gmail.com with the subject heading, smallest tortoise. But make sure it says smallest tortoise, just like you see here, or you won't get your answer. Just an automatic email from me saying I got your email, and you know, that's just not cool. So make sure your subject says smallest tortoise, just like this.